public safety announcement. You know, I can feel the wagon done got real light. <laughs> I done feel the Alabama wagon done got real light. A lot of bandwagons jumping like damn flies. <laughs> Boy, these fans that were never was a true Alabama fan, boy, I tell you, the truth. they jumping, they, 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 done, they done left us, y'all. It's all, it's just us. We all, we got, we got to stand together like we always have. But let me tell you about bandwagon jumpers. Quick as they jump off the bandwagon, the quick as they gonna jump back on the bandwagon after this weekend. Watch what I tell you. <laughs> I believe this team gonna wake up, man, and get back on track. I ain't giving up on this team, and uh, I just do believe this team is 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 capable of beating anybody in the country at any given time. I'm hearing all these pundits, all the YouTubes. It's something going on. It's something wrong with Alabama. It's something wrong. It is a mediocrity. All of a sudden, they mediocrity. It beat the hell out of Georgia the first half when nobody hollering about the team was mediocre then, you know. But, yeah, we lost against Vanderbilt. Now we mediocre. We didn't play good this past weekend against South Carolina. We mediocre. Hell, I even heard heard some some people was posting on poor Jalen Miro, Jay, uh, poor Jalen Miro and put in Ty Simpson. You lost your damn mind. Whoever you was that said that or post that, one of you – Alabama posts, they post on Instagram, I seen that crap on Facebook, but uh, uh, the only reason we won the game last week because of Jalen Miro, be honest with you, if you want to know the truth, and anybody think Jalen Miro ain't a good ball player, man, you can kiss me where the sun don't shine, <laughs> you know, but uh, let, let me tell you something, you know, uh, Jalen Miro was put in a bad situation last week, uh, right before halftime, uh, I ain't got to, we ain't got to re rehash that, but I'm going to rehash it. Uh, uh, Nick Sharon, uh, Kayla Nabor, they, they had, they, you know, it's, it's, it's a few seconds for halftime. Why are we trying to make this kid throw something down there, you know, uh, 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 to go into the locker room? All you do, run it. You, it's third down and 20, run, run the ball and, and then punt it. You get into the locker room. Then we backed up to the goal line. They make him roll out in the goal uh, inside the goal line instead of handing the ball off to one of them badass running backs we got. Oh, you're telling Jalen, you know, uh, uh, to to run the ball out of there. You know what I'm saying? But they try to make him pass the ball out of there. What he do? He, he, he we already can't block the ends, and we there he gets sacked in the end zone for safety. You know what I'm saying? That's on coaching, man. That ain't on Jalen Miro. I don't give a damn who you are. You know, yeah. And then you get down, you drive the ball, you come out of halftime, you drive the ball all down to the field, and you get down there to score a touchdown, and you make him try to throw a ball back in the corner. Instead, he, 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 they can't stop the run. They can't stop Jalen from running. Go ahead and just keep pounding it right down in the red zone. I don't get it, man. I don't get it. But I'm going to tell you this here. I know Jalen Miro is a badass ball player, and I keep telling everybody that. And I'm going to tell y'all something. Some of y'all keep trying to write this kid off. What going to piss everybody off if he decided to come back for his red shirt senior year? <laughs> if he decided to come back for his red shirt senior year, but y'all ain't going to stop this team, man. I, 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 I got a feeling this team going to break out. And this weekend, what I saw out of Tennessee, Tennessee don't scare me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they don't run the triple option. And uh, that old Nico is not a better quarterback than Jalen Miro. And uh, uh, I just don't – I just believe this team going to go into Neyland State and beat the hell out of Tennessee. But anyway, uh, let me say this about college football. All right. They wanted parity. And you know why they wanted parity? You know who to blame for that? They wanted parity in college football. That's why I tell y'all, Alabama fans, when we lose a game, man, it's magnified by 10 times. Because you know why? Because it's something you don't hardly see us do is lose a game. Uh, they had a segment with Johnny Manziel. And Manziel telling about the time he beat Alabama and, and it, what it did for his career. A whole lot of people did a lot of things for their career when, when you beat, beat Alabama. But 
Where's Johnny Manziel right now? Where's Steven Garcia right now? Where's Nick Marshall right now? Where's Cam Newton right now? You see, it ain't but a handful of quarterbacks that say they beat Alabama that's really went on to promise to really do something. You see what I'm saying? Uh, 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 the, the kid Trevor Lawrence. And hell, he, he shit, one more bad game, he might be on the bench just like Bryce Young. So, so all I'm saying is, when Alabama lose, you know, it, it's, it's pandemonium. It, the the goalposts must go into the rivers. That's period. But uh, parody is only because of Alabama. And the reason why I say that, they got tired of this team beating everybody year in, out, year in and year out. They come up with this transfer portal. Uh, uh, the proof and eyes. Alabama try to try to make the playing field equal. Uh, uh, and I know most college football fans is loving that because now, you know, you can have a ball player quit on you in the middle of the season. Hell, a ball player quit on you on the field and walk in the locker room and say he's going to transfer portal. That's how crazy it is. But uh, – Transfer Porter ain't going to scare Alabama. We get kids out of the Transfer Porter. We get the best one. And I just think, you know, you, you know, went to 12 team playoff. That's you you're trying to equalize everything. And, 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 and that's fine with me. I can tell you this here. You know, parity, Transfer Porter, uh, NIL money ain't going to stop Alabama Crystal Tide from beating your ass. I promise you that. Well, thing you may think, make. You may think things look bleak right now for Alabama, and we look down on we. You know we lost to Vanderbilt. Hell, Vanderbilt just beat Kentucky. Kentucky should have beat Georgia. We beat Georgia. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna find out a whole lot about a whole lot of parity this weekend. Everybody had that 20 million dollar roster for Ohio State winning the national title. Ain't played a game yet this year. They played one last weekend. Guess what? They lost. They lost. And this weekend coming up, Georgia and Texas finna play each other. Some got to give. Ole Miss went over there to the Baton Rouge and lost it to a weak ass LSU team. I mean, up, up, up 17, 20 to 7 and lose the ball game. How did Lane Kiffin lose to a weak ass LSU team? I'll never, never, I'll never understand. I just watch what Alabama do when they go into Baton Rouge. Watch what they do when they beat their ass over there. You know what I'm saying? All I'm saying is, man, if you give up on this team, you're going to be sad, sad, mistaken by the end of the year. Because the way I look at it right now, this team has got something to play for. And I believe when Jalen Milrose's back is against the wall, y'all ass is in trouble. I'm telling you, man. I, I feel it. I damn sure feel it. Roll damn time.